you're starting a business or a side hustle, but you don't know which avenues to use in order to receive payment. Do you use Cash App? Do you use Venmo? Do you use PayPal? Do you use a Square? What the heck do you use? Well, that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video today. What's going on my fellow jewelers? I love you guys wanting to start a side hustle or business because you're just trying to make money for your family or have a little extra um, income coming in to supplement your already income. So you're wondering, do I use Cash App? Do I use Venmo? Do I use PayPal? And the answer is yes. All three of them. Can I tell you, use whatever avenue you can, whatever they bring out with the next, however they can pay you, right? Because not everybody uses Cash App and not everybody uses Venmo and not everybody uses PayPal. And so you're trying to be all things for all people when it comes to them paying you. Because if you have to turn away a customer just because you refuse to use PayPal, then you're gonna lose a sale or maybe lots of sales because they could be a returning customer. And so I wanna encourage you to get all of them, to get, to get all of them. I have all of them on my phone where I have people just pay me whatever way they want to or can. And so I want to encourage you to do the same. And some of you are like, does, I don't know how to use those. I have no idea. Guess what? I didn't either. I had not a clue how to use Venmo. I had not a clue how to use Cash App. I didn't know how to use PayPal because I used it in the past, but I didn't know how to use those things. And so I too had to be a person looking on YouTube, looking for ways on how to use them or how to even set them up on my phone or whatever, right? And so I've had to learn. I've had to go to the school of YouTube <laughs> and learn for myself. And it's okay. It's okay to, to research it, to study it, to do all those things. But here's the deal. If you go, well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get those because what if, you know, all the what ifs, right? You're going to miss out on sales. You're going to miss out on customers. And I promise you, you're going to be better for it if you have all of those that you need for people to pay you. Also, I want to encourage you, if you are doing a craft fair or you're doing things where you're selling outside of your home and not just online to get a square, can I tell you, to be able to receive someone's credit card or Visa card or whatever, then then this is amazing. Because again, you're going to be turning away customers if you don't get these. So all the gadgets and doodities and whatever you need in order to get um, more customers for them to pay you, it's worth it. And again, I had no idea what I was doing when it came to the square. I still look online. Like if it's been a long time between craft fairs, I look online and be like, how do I use this thing again? Like, like sometimes you forget and that's okay, but do not get scared and do the research. Can I encourage you do the research because the more ways people can pay you, the more customers you're going to get and you won't have to turn away because you just didn't feel comfortable enough to try to learn how to use these things. So again, go with Cash App, go with Venmo, get a PayPal account, do all those accounts, get all those accounts in your name, Get a square if you do craft fairs because you're going to be getting more customers and you're going to be happier in the long run. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead. Check out my other videos on businesses or how to make jewelry, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye.